And now some of you are probably taking advantage of this downtime, checking things off your to do list. Yeah, our Justin Beasley found one family in Nashville that's not wasting a second of their family time. When you head to Grandma's house, your plan is to have fun and be spoiled for the weekend. And while both of those are true in this story, the grandkids are going to remember this trip for an entirely different reason. One that has lots of stems from the bottom. The deal between Mary Frances and her two grandkids was simple. You can stay, you can go, but if you go, you can't come back. I'm at that age uh, at risk. Benji and his sister Shelby had two choices, their mother or their Mimi. We came over to clean her fountain and she was like, oh, well, I'm about to go into quarantine. But her house is the fun house. That's just the association. Kind of had to beg our mom, and then she said yes. At the time, neither one of them realized what they had agreed to. Taught them how to trim shrubs, just do basic gardening. We've been planting seeds. Shelby even cut clippings from other plants. If there was a project or something to learn, you could consider the challenge accepted. Benji has designed a Yoda quilt that he's making from scraps of fabric. They're both learning to drive. Shelby's learning to drive a stick shift. She learned to make pillow shams with piping and cording. It's not busy work, of course not, but rather a chance to teach useful, practical, lifelong skills. I thought it would be not as much, but I, I'm liking it. I thought it would get boring after like a week and a half but it didn't. Every day you wake up and there's something new that we're doing. They're learning that nothing's really impossible. I absolutely love them here because it's a good distraction for my wife. <laughs> right now, it's really all a distraction, trying to stay positive during this unprecedented time. I kind of wish we could recreate the everyone just gets to hang out at home, but without the virus. In Nashville, I'm Justin Beasley, News 4.